Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Teed Up Grand Strand. I'm your host, Shan Coughlin, here with my very special guest, Mr. Chris Jones from Hi, Colonial Charters. It's Hello, good, Chris. Good to be here. Glad you're here. Very relaxing in the studio. We are happy to hear that. Are you going to um, do the... Um, what was the pose from the, last the time? Chillin the chillin' pose. Should we chill this morning? You know what? I could use a good chill. We need a good chill. Just a little wind down from the morning. All right. One, two, three. All right, that was our chilling post. So for you folks listening on an app, go over to thegolfdirector.com and click on the TV tab so you can see us do our chilling post. Um, Cloner Charters has uh, the reputation and what I love to refer to as the locals course, whether you're technically a local or not. Correct. And y'all work very hard on that. We, we do. We try to find, provide a fun, just friendly atmosphere, you know, where it's just really not all about golf. It's... It's not about, I, I try to say this to as many people as I can out there in the golf community, too. It's, it's not really where you go, it's who you play with. Absolutely. You know, you know bring, bring your friends, have a good time mm-hmm. on a golf course. It doesn't really cost you a lot of money in your pocket. I mean, it's, I just want, I would love it if you just came out and had fun. Absolutely. That's, that's what golf is supposed to be about. Bring your family, bring your friends, and just have a good time. Yep. And, you know, I'm, I'm on, a, on a campaign to bring golf back for clients. Client golf should be socially acceptable again. Exactly. Yeah, I'm also on that campaign to bring whiskey back to the workplace, but that like Mad Men, but Mad Men's ending its season, so that may be the end of that. <laughs> whiskey in the workplace. That's no, that's probably not. It's not. Sorry, it's just you know, I, I'm just had that Mad Men phase. So I, in in the uh, light of the TV talk. Um, I do have to also ask you about something we talked about last time. Have you been successful with the Tesla yet as a company car? No. No. I, I actually haven't even submitted it. Oh, in, okay. In fear well. of knowing what the answer is. <laughs> hey, you know, Just, you never know. Maybe I'll start with a Volkswagen Beetle and work my way up. Oh, there you, you know, I would like to see a Volkswagen Beetle wrapped like a golf ball. Yeah, wrapped like a, with the golf yeah, ball. Like, like, a, like a skin? Yeah. Like the, uh, yeah. It looks like a golf ball. There's one that is wrapped like a soccer ball in town. So I think it should be like a golf ball. Mm-hmm. That would be kind of cool. Maybe I should submit that for the golf director. I think you should. We should have Shan's car would be the Beetle now wrapped yeah, like the Tesla. <laughs> let's, let's go to the top. Let's go to the top of the Tesla. The Tesla wrapped like okay. a golf ball. So speaking of the top, I think you guys have one of the best deals going in the afternoons because almost every afternoon, once people are done with their round of golf or a day of work when you're driving back by Colonial Charters, you should pull in there, folks, for their afternoon specials because being the locals course, whether you're technically a local or not, uh, you have local type specials, especially Wing Wednesday, one of my favorites. Wing Wednesday. um, (laughs) It's great. Yes. It's basically, we're, we're just doing 25 cent wings mm-hmm. and uh, draft specials. Yeah. And things like that. And then and bingo on Friday. Bingo Friday night. Every, everything is reasonably priced and priced for fun. Yeah. I would actually, me myself, I would love to see everyone coming in the afternoon. Right. Not, not just members. I would love the neighborhood to come. Right. I would love if you're coming off of Highway 9. <laughs> I know you're at, on Highway 9, it's mainly like a work commute kind of area. But. Mm-hmm. Stop it and get some wings. Absolutely. You every, need wings. Every, everyone Everybody is welcome to come in and enjoy mm-hmm. you know, this nice, friendly atmosphere. Well, and that's a good point. Let's, Because uh, I think people who aren't as familiar with the area get a little bit scared sometimes when they see a golf course mm-hmm. and the name of the city mm-hmm. is not technically Myrtle Beach. No. There's so many little towns around here. You, you've got to just Google it. It's probably, you're probably five minutes away. Uh, even though it may say Longs or right. North Myrtle yes. Beach or wherever. It, uh, it's not that far. You guys are right up Highway 9, easy we to get are. to, we especially the, with 31. Oh gosh, yeah, just off of 31, we're the first golf course you get to. Mm-hmm. Like we're literally two stoplights down on the right. right. Come on, go Sharks. Other good thing about the golf course is it's playable for everyone. Every. So it's still a challenge. I mean, if you step it back, it can still be a challenge. Okay. But very fair, and like you said, it's meant to be fun. So you can play or get around there in four hours. Have that's, a great score. That's actually key. Yes. I have to stop you for a yes. second here. Even, even at our busiest time, mm-hmm. you know, where all of our golf courses, all of our golf course carts were out, excuse me, mm-hmm. um, four hours, maybe 15, 20 minutes max. Max. I mean, it's like our average round. There's no five-hour rounds out there. You no know, beat up. You don't get beat you up. You don't get beat up. I mean, yes, we do have water on the golf course. Mm-hmm. But, you know, really, it's an only, if you, if you hit a bad golf shot, probably shouldn't be rewarded. I know I can't say that. 
<laughs> you know, it's not fair to me. I guess I got to be friendly about it. But you know, if you if you play a reasonable golf, right? There's not a lot out there that really can really get in trouble, right? And you know, so you. But it still makes you hit a good golf shot. It does. Yeah. I mean, you got to have some sort of challenge on the golf course. Absolutely. You got to you, know, you got to be able to win or lose a bet somehow. That's right. <laughs> not that I know anything about that. Not that you know. No, I don't we do know that. better. No. As a matter of fact, you're always on the golf course, but I think you are working instead of playing golf because you said you hadn't been playing very much. I really haven't been playing much golf at all. I would love to get back out there because I miss just the fun and the camaraderie right. of golf. I mean, I would love to be back out there with my friends and have a good time. But uh, I have to make sure Colonial runs properly first. Yes. That's what's on top of the head. Absolutely. Makes sense. Makes make sure. Well, you know, we just got some good news on the good international good. front. Yes. The WAGT tours that, you know, we, we run right. um, has now come out and, uh, because the international rules for amateur status are different than the United States. Club pros, even in the United States, are allowed to play. No kidding. Yes. So as a test, um, we had Mike Benson and Frank Coughlin out in our last tournament. So oh, now yes. I am putting it out to all the pros, oh, and they fantastic. loved it. So we'll have to get you the schedule. Yes. Get pulling the yes. on the schedule next year. That would be great. And we'll get them out. You can play a little more golf. I would love to. Yes. Absolutely. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, Jeff swears the only reason I offered to um, – be the director of that tournament so I could get to play golf. <laughs> and he's absolutely right. <laughs> it go. works that way. Why yeah. else get into the business, right? If you don't, I, you see, that's love, a misnomer, though, because that was the first thing I thought, too. Get in the golf business, you play a lot of golf. It's the opposite. <laughs> it, it's, it's the exact opposite. You know, I got, Especially actually, as a golf professional. Well, I will say this. I actually got into the business because I love golf. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love everything about it. You know, oh, yeah. So it's not, not so much playing it. I mean, it's everything from you know, how the swing works, the dynamics, everything. I love golf. Uh, you know, talking about golf, dressing like I golf. I just, I love it. Now, the dressing like golf thing, I really think we need to relax the policy. But, Ooh. there, no, but there's People some cool, like me for no, that. but there are some cool things going on in the, yeah, uh, in the apparel, apparel world. Exactly. Well, things are changing. We should, to change with it. But we should not go as far as I saw a picture of Tom Brady and Michael Jordan playing golf in the Bahamas. In their sweatpants okay, that's and t-shirt and hats yeah, on back. I mean, you know, like swimsuits and yeah, bikinis yeah. and halter no. tops and belly dancing outfits. No. No. <laughs> but no, nice. Just to relax. You know. Yeah. yeah. Just relax. What, whatever you're comfortable in that's not absurd is what we should change the rule to. Well, one thing that did relax, again, is y'all's pricing because you are now part of the program at Founders Group International. That's correct. And tell everyone what the name of it is and how they can participate. It's actually, um, we're part of the Primetime Program, which I'm sure everybody is hopefully largely familiar with. There was, it was um, a process that's already in place, but we are now in that process. Mm -hmm. You know, you could purchase the gift, the cards online, or you could purchase them, purchase them at each shop. Right. And that just gives you access to discounted golf at all 22 courses. Right. You know, Columbia Charters included. So. Right. And our rate right now for the front time is excellent. Good. You know, it's kind of like an introductory rate right now. I think it's $20. Wow. Okay. Night and day. Because your so. regular summer special is? Right now it's 30 and 25. Okay. 30 in the morning, 25 after 12. We couldn't go too much yeah. lower. You know, but oh, it's, still, it's still price to come check it out. Absolutely. And just enjoy yourself. And we're making changes daily now. Mm -hmm. You know, so with the, with the new company. And the new group, I'm very happy with the way things are going and progressing. You right. Know, so, and so we're constantly making changes to make it better. Good. Yeah. And they're still evaluating some renovations coming up? They are. Yeah. Nice. Uh, there's been a lot of discussions about a lot of good things, which is great. And I guess now that we they've got their umbrella of golf courses, that just those discussions will happen faster. So, yes. so it's awesome. It's easy, always easier to negotiate in a group. So are they done? Or are they going to buy more? From what I could see, I think they're done with okay. golf courses. Right. Of course, I can't speak for them because right. I'm not at their table. Right. But I, I don't know of anything that's in the works cool. at the moment. Well, I know that um, everyone we've spoken with says that renovations are definitely on the on the table, and there's absolutely nothing but good that can come from putting money into a golf course absolutely. for the players that are coming to play that course. So that is all good news. Chris, thank you so much for coming thank in you. today. Okay, let's take our chilling pose one more, one more time. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. And let's chill. Go. So, everyone, we hope you enjoy your chilling pose at some point today. Come out to the local course, whether you're a local or not, right up on Highway 
9, right off Highway 9, Colonial Charters Golf Club. And you can see Chris because he's there 24-7, and we know that because we have an audience today. The lovely Stephanie is here, and she can account for the fact that he is there all the time. <laughs> my, my inspiration for being is sitting to my left. Oh, very nice. Oh, we got an awe, so that's awesome. All right, Chris, we will see you next month for some updates on those yes, renovations. Definitely. And how that prime time card is working. It's, it's actually already working. I'll awesome. see him seeing the rounds on the books. So, yeah, everybody just keep coming and seeing Colonial Charters. You'll be surprised. Best place to get information about Colonial Charters is online? It's online, um, www.colonialchartersgolf.com, or you can go to the big umbrella website, it's foundersgroupinternational.com. Okay. Or you can always call me. Yes. 843-399-4653. Oh. just ask for Chris. I'll be glad to take your call. And he will explain to you how to chew. <laughs> it's, it's a tough process, but I got her to do it. You so. did. You did. It's, it's all done. You don't need to breathe. Thanks, Chris. Thank we appreciate you. it. All right. This edition of Teed Up Grand Strand has been produced and broadcast by the Zeus Radio Network for thegolfdirector.com. When visiting our site, The Golf Director, be sure to check out our featured golf course pages, including the one for Colonial Charters, where you'll find up-to-date information about course conditions, specials, and so much more. If you need help with your next golf vacation and you like to tweet, hashtag just call Dave and he'll find you, or pick up the phone and call us at 844-GO-GOLF-1. That's 844-464-6531. All of our TTD programming is archived for listening in viewing on demand so to catch up on a show you might have missed click on the tgd radio and tgd tv tabs in the menu at thegolfdirector.com we're now available on over 1 billion devices at itunes audio realm tune in youtube ustream roku blueberry and on the myrtle beach golf app so download that today this is shan coughlin and on behalf of my special guest mr chris jones today we thank you for tuning in there's more information coming up next so don't go away